Now let's look at an application problem. A company is planning to produce and sell a new line of computers. The fixed cost will be $300,000, and it will cost $850 to produce each computer. Each computer will be sold for $1,150. Part A, write the cost function, C, of producing X computers. Well, the second sentence tells us about cost. We're told that the fixed cost is $300,000, and then additionally, it will cost $850 for each computer. Since X stands for the number of computers that we'll be producing, we can write C equals, and we're going to have our fixed cost of $300,000 plus our variable cost of $850 multiplied times the number of computers. Now, we have C equals this. We could also have written this in function notation and used C of X. Both are useful. Next, part B, write the revenue function, R, from the sale of X computers. The revenue is going to tell us how much money the company will bring in as they sell a computer. That's given to us in the last sentence. Each computer will be sold for $1,150. So our revenue function, R, is going to be $1,150 being multiplied times the number of computers that we end up producing, which is X. Part C, determine the break-even point and then describe what this means. Our break-even point is going to be telling us where we end up having our cost equal to our revenue. So let's take our cost, which is 300,000 plus 850x, and set it equal to our revenue of 1150x. Now let's solve this equation. Rewriting it, we have 300,000 plus 850x equals 1150x. We'll begin by subtracting 850x from both sides of the equation so that we have all of our variable expressions on one side. That will leave us with 300,000 on the left. Subtracting 850 from 1150 gives us 300. Now let's divide both sides of the equation by 300. That would be 300,000 divided by 300 equals x. Well, notice that we can reduce by dividing, first of all, both sides of the equation, both um, numerator and denominator, that is, by 100. That would cancel out the last zeros. And now we're looking at 3,000 divided by 3, which is going to give us 1,000. And so 1,000 computers must be produced in order for our cost to equal our revenue. We can write that as C of 1,000 equals R of 1,000. And that tells us that at this point, our profit would equal zero.